previously on Wing Nuts. Tom Stewart is one of the world's largest resellers of aircraft parts. And we want to make him something just spectacular. Is this what you really want, though? Definitely. The boss speaks. The, the boss speaks, that's it. <laughs> Good. We'll take it. We're going to bend over backwards and get this conference table done for his big meeting that he has on the 18th. That, that looks really good, guys. I like it's it extremely impressive. I'm willing to stuff envelopes. But whatever it takes to keep this place running. This isn't bring your girlfriend to work today. It isn't well, not today. I, I, it's not tomorrow. I understand the only It's not deal. next month. If you're here, you're working. If you're not, goodbye. Get out of my fing office. I'm sick of your sh. Your baby, baby, baby. All right, Dave just fired me. Here we go, the start of a brand new day. Well, it's Monday morning, and we're officially behind schedule now on our C-54 conference table project. Friday, we got the legs designed. It went beautifully with the rudder. Everybody was happy with it. Tim was supposed to take it to powder coating, but he went and got himself fired. So here now, I've got to run it up there myself, and it's gonna take three or four hours out of my day. All the pieces need to be powder coated through a two-step process. First of all, they need to be sandblasted thoroughly to give the metal a little bit of a gritty tooth. Once they're stripped, a small electrostatic charge is attached to the unit and the powder is sprayed at a very low PSI so that it adheres evenly to the piece. The piece goes into the oven for about an hour at 350 degrees. Then it's brought out, it cools down. The C-54 rudder, however, being a metallic finish, goes through a three-step process. And a translucent red overcoat is shot, and again, the process is repeated by going back in the oven, baked again at about 350 degrees, then allowed to cool, and it's finished. Yay. Man. Look what I got. Oh, this looks beautiful. Happy birthday, Merry Christmas. Boy, happy that. birthday is right. Wow. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, that's a really rich looking color, isn't it? Matches the truck, kind of. Don't Go scratch it, guys. Go ahead and leave me here. All right. <laughs> OK, up and over, guys. All right. Mm -hmm. We're starting off the new week here, and uh, obviously the urgency is to get this DC-6 rudder done and up to Tom and his wife. See anything bad? Hey, good luck, Dave. Just Come dust. Okay. Right now it's a crapshoot. The C-54 isn't close to being done, and we gotta get Mark and Thomas to drive to Oklahoma by midday Thursday. That means we gotta get them on the road by tomorrow night for the 20-hour drive they have ahead of them. Listen, guys, we got, uh, we got two days to finish this up. I mean... Well, the sooner you get out of here, the quicker it'll get done. A little, guys, a little you guys feel something different today? No, Tim. Wow. The, the first day of his, his exile. Tim did cross that line. And uh, unfortunately, as good a friend as he is, uh, you know, I love the guy. Um, I just, he can't be here with that type of attitude. I told both of you guys to just Calm down a little bit and rethink it. Well, I made my decision. Well, I know you have, but we're sending our best fabricator, our, our one of two, to go get Patico. But runners are a dime a dozen, Donovan. I mean, I, why, why put up with the grief of having someone just battering us and belittling this company and slamming us?
Watch your shins. Yeah, I know. You notice how I'm walking like this? Things are pretty <laughs> dangerous. Oh, these are sharp. We've got our hands full today. Not only did we promise the stewards we would build their conference table in record time, on top of that, we promised we'd fly to Oklahoma and install the peas for them. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, powder coating looks good. Right now, the most important thing is Thomas, Mark, and myself get the basic pieces on this together, sheet the bottom side with aluminum, get it on its feet, and then start working on the lighting, which is going to be time consuming because there's a lot of holes to fill with lighting in there. We have to make lenses and put them on and everything else. Okay, good. Let me, let me need get some, a starter. Need some bolts. Saying too much on the last day. We're way off here. This whole thing's sitting crooked on the table. Guys, shut my mouth. <laughs> Just tell me to shut up. Well, hey, I, I hate to throw this in the picture, but we got to finish the test club, too, because before we go to Oklahoma, the test club's got to go out. Totally and just in order for cash totally flow. I forgot for about that. The Test Club is a six bladed propeller uh, built during World War II primarily for breaking in engines and wind tunnel testing. Due to the shortage of aluminum during World War II, the blades were made of micarta, which is sort of a forerunner of fiberglass. I've had the piece for over seven years now. It's been hanging on the wall of Moto Art since its conception. It truly is my favorite piece, but a very good client of ours bought it for a substantial sum of money, so it's about to go. Unfortunately, the hub is steel and would not hold a polish, so I've had it chromed, which brings it up to its original look, and uh, uh, I'm gonna miss this piece very much. It's really crucial that we get this test club created and shipped out by tomorrow before we go to Oklahoma. Since I've asked Tim, um, a guy's short now, so I've called JD, our buddy up in Mojave, who runs a scrap yard, to come down and help us out for a little while. Hey, the cavalry's arrived. We got some help. How's it going? Thanks for coming down. No problem. Hey, I could really use your help today. What we got going on? Well, Dave just dropped a bombshell on us that we got to put together the test club, build a crate, and get that out. At the same time, we're doing this. Wow. All right. And since we, we canned Tim last week, what? We're, we're, we're short of a half a man. <laughs> so by getting you, we're actually, right. a, we're actually ahead by a half a man. Well, <laughs> okay, so I, I think you know how this goes from past experience. We've got this piece right here that's blocked, and that's the big part right here. I think this is tape on here. I think we have to take all this off. So I know it's a tight fit. You guys starting this test club without me? <sighs> yep. You might want to yeah. start it here. Make sure we're still on the edge so we don't slip. Let's do it. it oh, it's getting heavy. Yeah, she gained some weight. The honeymoon's over. Boy, that steel really makes a difference. All right, what are we gonna do about lighting in the front? Put LEDs in it. I think putting two of those strips that we have in each one of these bays with the little ones would be good. And then maybe this big one, if we put four strips, you know, put two on the bottom and two on the top. Uh, you know, as, yeah. as subtle as it might be, just if there's a little light coming through those holes. Yep. Not illuminate everything, Agreed? but just an accent, yeah. Agreed? I, yeah, I totally agree. We promised totally our clients agree. we would provide lighting in this, and it's something we haven't done before. But I think Mark's going to be able to handle it. Uh, we've talked about it last week uh, and over the weekend. I think we'll probably use LED lighting because it's low voltage, it's legal, it's we'll relatively easy to handle, and they're very small units, so, and they don't produce any heat. Whoop. And they both work. This is four red LEDs, top and bottom. Yep. Do you want to get one of your lenses and see what that looks like? Well, I was going to say, what do you think about the red, first of all? I think the red's going to accent the wing pretty well, actually. I, I like the red versus the white. Yeah, let's put, let's put a lens in there and see what it looks like. It gets a little pinkish, but uh, still. I know. I mean, Not yeah. bad. Corporate decision, guys. 
Red. 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 Man, it's about 6.30, my second call into you. Uh, where are you, what are you doing, and why haven't you called me back? Give me a call back. ASAP, dude. You missed down here, all right? Call me. Dave forgets to uh, realize that I was a production designer on over 100 commercials and at least 15 feature films. Dave can uh, pretty much stick his crack bee company up his ass because I uh, don't have time to hold these guys' hands anymore. They don't know what they're doing. There's me right there on a forklift. Oh, here's a shot of me and Burt Reynolds. Hey Lee, it's TR. Just uh, calling to see if you have anything going on right now in the music video world. Give me a shout and let me know. I know that you uh, had a couple of shows popping, and um, I just want to discuss uh, situations with you, okay? Yeah, it's, really, it's really dark out there right now, and um, everybody's looking for work. You have reached an invalid number at Paramount Pictures. Please check the number and dial again. If you need further assistance, call 956-5000. Thank you. Uh, I just put a call to uh, Tim. Again, I was not able to get in touch with him. Yeah. And you're you know, telling I, me this I don't like this. I don't like to see you out here working. But if I have a long talk with him, and he can prove useful to us, or worthwhile to us and himself, without bringing you down, will you reconsider? I mean, he's got to change. I mean, I mean, there's just got to be you a 360-degree change in Your his family comes down, the only family I got is Tim. You know, if he wants to come up and talk to me and tell me, you know, what's on his mind, and um, at this point, I'm going to listen to him, but I'm, I'm not making, making any promises. Right, well, it's going to be between you two guys. Well, just know I'm making no promises. Good. The last week we've taken nothing and, and turned it into really a fabulous piece. My, my only criticism, and it's my own fault because I picked the polycarbonate, I think I want to see these red. I just do not like the rim we get around here when it's lit up. What are you recommending? Red. Let's see. Chaos it. and red. This hey. will, this will look the same, but this will be red here. Come on, look how I mean, we've beautiful done all this is. work to make this a beautiful piece. I don't like that. We got to change it. I, I would think red plex would cheapen it up as much. I, I kind of tend to agree with Dave. That's why about. I'm not here and you're in there. It's the one little touch, and it's it's a minor touch. Most most people wouldn't think twice about it. I see it. Uh, to me, it's a glaring uh, mistake. But we're in a big hurry. Mark and Thomas have to get on the road. They got to go. And I know what's gonna happen. If I'm still screwing around with this, they're gonna hate me. They're gonna curse me all the way to Oklahoma. The problem here is we got these two pieces of glass 
you know, I, I forgot exactly what rib we joined him on, but oh. this one here, that's right. Last night we got the conference table totally assembled uh, without putting any scratches in it, I might add. We still haven't gotten the glass. That's a, the last big question mark we have. How is it gonna fit? How is it gonna look? Do we need standoffs? Do we need to connect it? All unknowns until we get it here. <sighs> All right, so we're, we're gonna go for a butt seam then. Yeah, I'd, and, I don't know. and yeah, just I'm... keep our fingers crossed that it works. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. This conference table is 14 feet long, so we're going to use two pieces of glass, create a nice smooth butt seam, and the weight of gravity should hold the seam together perfectly. The glass cutting process is relatively simple. The piece is put on a pneumatic table for ease of movement. The pattern is cut out with a handheld diamond wheel, and then the pieces of glass are chipped off using a special wide mouth pair of pliers. After the glass is cut, the process moves to a machine where the glass is fed through a series of six diamond wheels of varying degrees of grit, and then it goes to a handheld machine on a gimbal which is water-cooled, and that does all the finishing and all the radiuses. What about the lenses on the uh, rudder? Are you, are you determined to change those out today? I mean, I know I this came know. up last night. I really like the dark red, it looks much better, but they gotta be heated up. I don't know if we can do it in time. I mean, let's, let's, let's think logically what we gotta do today. We have to get up to Western Glass and pick up the glass. Jesus, it's hot in here today. Yeah, okay, we gotta pick up the glass, pick up a truck, pick up the spline for the hub. We got several things that kinda need to fall into place to make this successful today. Unfortunately, a lot of it lies in Donovan's hands. And I think Donovan just really kind of needs to stay focused and remember what's important here. Darn. It's kind of close. He can't trip on this one. If he trips, the guys are going to be leaving late. Something's going to suffer. What I'm trying to do is heat this plexiglass up just, just enough to bend it slightly. Just the microwave needs to be clean, too. If I can get this to bend, I'll be very happy. I'll try it for a minute and a half. We have uh, two options here for the lenses on the conference table. One is polycarbonate. The other is plexiglass or acrylic. I can barely see it in there. Acrylic doesn't bend, but plexiglass is much clearer. It comes in lots of different colors. Uh, it's the material I want to use, but we have to do something to form it, which again takes time. They say you're not supposed to stand in front of these, but... I mean, it probably won't kill me. You're not supposed to watch the microwave. I know. It hurts your brain. You're gonna, yeah. well... You didn't do anything, did it? No. What's that stink All in right, there? three minutes. That's popcorn stink. No, oh, someone's left a pot sticker in there. <sighs> well, it heated up the glass nicely. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, smoking. It's smoking now. It's smoking. <laughs> I guess it'll bend now. <laughs> What's on fire? Today on Science with Donovan. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna blow ourselves up. This is Dave Hall with Motoart. We make the uh, vintage aircraft furniture you inquired about. Right now we're working on a, a DC-6 rudder conference table, about uh, 14 feet long. Got any need for a conference table? Just following up with you, we just sent out an email, a uh, new product uh, uh, mailing last week and I just want to verify that you got it and see if there's anything we can't uh, help you out with. The cheapest thing we have here would be the piston lamps and, and those are running about 200 bucks. But we're working on a beautiful conference table right now off, off a DC-6 rudder. We're always, always working on some fun stuff here. I think it's right up your alley. Truck. 
Another U-Haul, huh? Yeah, another U-Haul. Uh, where, where's what's everybody? I don't know. I mean, I, Donovan got, uh, we were getting ready to go get the truck. Donovan got a call from Bob saying his mom had to go to the hospital now. He didn't even talk to me. He didn't say anything to me. He just said, I got to go. He jumped out of the truck. He threw everything on the ground, and, he's, and he said that she had to go to the hospital, and that was it. Oh, we're out of time. I know. Donovan, what's happening? Is my mom here. Is she okay? Uh, she's doing a little bit better now. Is she at the hospital? No. She doesn't hmm. want to go. She doesn't want to go? No. Dom's mom, um, she's this very sweet lady, uh, but she, she doesn't have proper care. And she's at this age where she's very panicked. Uh, and she, what happens is she's constantly calling Donovan. Uh, you know, it seems like every other day it's an emergency uh, and he, he's got to run to her side. Boy, you made it up there pretty quick. Yeah, I did. Uh, I'll try to be back there in two hours. Obviously, uh, you know, your parents are more important than, and than your, your, your business and, and that becomes a priority. So I, I can't blame Donovan. I can't be mad at Donovan. I just, it's part of the program at this point. All right, well, take care of your mom. All right, brother. Bye. A day so critical for us is just kind of blown up in my face. The test club's not going to get out today as planned, and we'll be lucky to get Thomas and Mark out of here tomorrow morning as we as we planned. And 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 that's something we can't miss a beat on because they have to be in Oklahoma by the time that Dom and I get there. Having both parents. Uh very elderly and getting close to their end, it's, it's really tough. Um, I don't show my emotion like, like Tim does, but uh, it's, nevertheless, it's there. Uh, <clears throat> it's a tough one today. Sorry to be a laugh like that. Mr. Fell, how's your mom? She has dementia. She was just, she was soaking wet, and thanks to her boyfriend starting to kill her. <laughs> he's, he's bald and he sprays his stuff on his head to make his hair grow, and she says it's poisoning her. <laughs> I don't know. Jeez. Well, listen, uh, can I get you back to Motor Art Reality? Yeah, please, what's, what's going on? Motor Art Reality is there's no way in hell we're gonna get that test club shipped out tonight. So, with that said, I guess obviously the, uh, the, the priority is to get this conference table done, get them out in the morning, and then you and I, uh, I mean, are we gonna be able to finish tonight? I mean, that's, that's key. Well, I mean, we set the glass on it, and if we like it, it's done. I don't, I'm gonna try to do some lenses right now. I'm gonna see if I can form them. I doubt I can, but I'll try. Well, the issue with my mom has uh, knocked me around a little bit, but I, I think we're still on schedule with the C54 conference table. One problem I have with it is the polycarbonate lenses I made for this have a white halo around them, which I'm just not satisfied with. So I think I'm gonna take my half inch plexiglass template and route some new lenses out of maybe an eighth inch red translucent acrylic, which I think will fit a lot better with the color of the table. It's been an absolutely brutal week for me uh, since I was let go from MotoArt. Unfortunately, since I've been out of the loop in Hollywood, the jobs just aren't there for me right now. And uh, 
You know, quite honestly, I really don't know what happened between me and Dave. I'm gonna make one last attempt today at Moto Art to clear the air, gather up some of my things that I've left behind that Donovan was good enough to uh, let me store here and say goodbye. So Dave's here and he's in his office? I think he is. Tim Roberts. Come on in, man. How are you, man? Well, I gotta be honest with you, it's been pretty quiet around here without you. <sighs> Not surprised. <laughs> Tim, I've thought about you and thought about you. I've lost sleep about you. And I've had uh, countless conversations with Donovan about you. Uh, how was your weekend? Uh, <clears throat> well, the whole time I did a lot of soul searching, and it's like, you guys are my family. And uh, it's really hard for me to say, right? You guys are my family, and I know I've made some heavy mistakes, light ones, medium, I can categorize all of them. And it's, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Dave. I'm really, really sorry if I, you know, got into that heated argument, took a swing at you, the whole thing. It's like, I, I don't know, I don't know what really happened. I think we grew apart and I consider you, you know, my best friend in the world and we grew apart and I understand that you have a business to run in the whole situation. However, you know, I acted out of line and I was wrong and I'm really sorry. Well, and I, and you know what, and I'll be the first to tell you, I, I mean, I acted wrong too, and you know, from even earlier in the week when you threw the glove in my face, I mean, there's just been this tension between us, I know, and it like kept you, building, and kept building, and, like and what happened apart, was, it weird. just, we blew up. It, you know, I still want to chew this over. I, I understand, can you I just... You know, I, and, 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 but I, bottom of my heart, I miss you, man, and I wish you were working here, but I just can't, I, I mean, there's got to be a level of respect around here. I mean, I, you have the chance, you have the chance, really, that between me and you and the wall, you have the chance to be running this whole company for Donovan and I, if you just saw that opportunity. With the project manager thing, I don't think I got enough of a chance. It was just like that, it, it seemed like, and I didn't get a chance to really sink in. All right, Tim, let's just say this. Let's just put you on double quadruple probation, all right? And, and just figure out where your strengths are at, and, and, and let's just kind of put you back in the mix here and uh, relax a little bit and, and maybe we can talk further. Okay. All right, bud. I All right, give me a hug. You big old ugly beast, you. Thanks, man. Thanks, I love you. I love you too. And you're sticky too. <laughs> hey, it's hot up in that attic, bro. We just gotta go around the corner, Dave. Boy, and that's the light one. Jesus, you guys went dude. the wrong way. No, we're not. Oh my God. Do it. I eyeball it. We look good? This corner's all right. We look good over there? <laughs> yeah. Looks like you got some more overhang over there than we do. Wow, that looks totally different. <laughs> you can lay it down to me. Yeah. Like, right. <clears throat> you right, Dave? Yeah. Okay. Just, kind of Just don't there. kiss it Just up against the other glass or it'll chip. Just relax. <laughs> Stop. Woo. Oh, we need a little button right there. Very, very happy with this. We got to lay to rest the problems that we had. And, and I think um, you and I have a clear understanding of the direction that we both need to go. Now that Tim's back, I really need for him to start pulling his weight around here, and actions speak a lot louder than words do. Uh, because I need Mark here at the shop, he's more important to keep him back and actually continue with production, I'm gonna ask Tim to drive with Thomas to Oklahoma, and you better not say boo about it. So that puts you in the truck with Thomas. <clears throat> yeah, I have a... Uh... I have no problem with that, and uh, let's just let's go with the whatever it takes attitude. All right. Good, Tim. I, I'm, I'm stoked to hear that. 
you know, I'll do whatever I, whatever I got to do to make this work. I know it's a really important piece. It is. Really important client. And, uh, it is. That's fine. This is the finest piece we've ever done. I know that. It's got to get there in one piece without a scratch on it. And it's we important tonight that we all focus on packing it. And we all know you drive like a grandma, so maybe this is a good uh, assignment for you. But we only have two days. Oh. Be a fast grandma, <laughs> Be a fast, careful no, grandma. No, just, well, all I'm going to do is just, you know, feed Thomas coffee and stay in the shotgun seat the whole time. <laughs> all right, let's It'll go help fine. Thomas get this thing loaded. Thanks, brother. Yep. Not a problem. Typical, again, the sun's going down, and now we're just starting to load. Uh, we've got... Two pieces of glass that probably weigh 700 pounds. Okay, we didn't put wire or anything on that wall, huh? No, we're not going to. You okay, Dave? I think it's a lot heavier than we anticipated originally. And uh, so we're gonna get those in first and make sure they're safe because uh, it's 3,000 bucks for the glass. We put one chip in it and it's, it's, it's ruined. Sure. Okay, wait a minute, okay watch drill Hold presses. On. Hold on. Ooh. Hold on, I need to get Thud. this. Diamond, diamond, can you... you need to help the Dave. There you go. I'm just gonna trip on that table. Here. Okay, you guys okay? Can I just climb in? Yeah, hold on. Timmy, you guys? Well, hold on, Dave. Don't There's go too high, here. Dave. Those guys, you're, you're, you're against Dave. your Dave. Scratch the top. We got the boys off this morning to Oklahoma, and uh, I just pray that they get there in one piece, or I should say, I hope the conference table gets there in one piece. We got our day full here. Uh, Dom has got to dive in and get these lenses completed, and then we're off to Oklahoma. Unfortunately, due to some of the circumstances that happened, I didn't get a chance to change out the lenses. That's the one element that irritates me on this piece. And so I think what I'm going to do is I've got my uh, templates, so I'm going to go ahead and try to make new lenses, and I'll just take them to Oklahoma and install them uh, on site. I think it will make the clients very happy. I've got to be able to bend the acrylic lenses. The polycarbonate gives, you know, the white ones on, on the, the, the corporate uh, conference table were polycarbonate. And they, they bend without breaking. Plex will not, it'll just crack and break, especially with all the little holes so close to the edge. So it's got to be formed to the shape of the leading edge of that uh, rudder. And to do that, I've got to heat it to where it's like a pancake, then put it in a form. That would do the trick, but it would also melt me. Got it. I got it. I'm not quite sure what this is. Tim left this here. I don't believe it's a stove. I think this is basically a propane-powered uh, space heater. I'm gonna take this thin piece of metal here and Give it a little roll. And hope that my radius is about the same as that leading edge of the wing. I think it is. I think that is. Flatten that out just a hair. Gets hot in a hurry. Don't try this one at home. Just like roasting weenies. It's 
getting close when it starts looking like a, a flapjack. Ooh, that gets hot. Come on, get hot for me. There we go, there we go. One more time. You know what you're doing? We'll soon find out. Hot enough for you? Yeah, it's hot. Unfortunately, I don't have the rudder here anymore. So how's that going to play out with the angle of uh, the radius? Well, I eyeballed it. <laughs> As I usually do. Do me a favor. Don't blow the place up. You ready? Yeah. Fingers crossed? I thought you were flipping me off. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not bad, huh? You didn't burn it, did you? Nope. That looks very nice, Don. I mean, we got to sand the inside again because you want it obscured. That looks really nice. All right. Well, now that we know it works. Go, go, go. I'm going to do another one. Donovan! Donovan! Dude, please tell me you're alive. Hey! We got a plane to catch. Get your butt up! Up on me. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Ah, it's too early. Ah. Oh. Where'd you go? Now that you woke me up, let's go. I'm coming. Another plane ride. Another road trip. Oh. Well, here we are in Oklahoma, and uh, now we have to travel out to the suburbs to Stewart Industries. But first, we have to find Thomas and Tim and the truck, and most importantly, the conference table. Okay. All right, I, I, got a, I got a feeling we'll see you in about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Hey. Just our luck. Can't see the end of it. The, the train that has no end. Yeah, this is a lot. No caboose. No caboose. <clears throat> Stewart Industries. Boy, this is out here. Yeah. 
Thanks, sir. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi. Hello there. Hi. We're from Motor Art. I see uh, Tom and Kathy. Uh, let me let Tom know that you're here. Okay. And if you'd Good. like, you could sign in. All right. I have my glasses here. Tom. Oh, it's cool. Dave and Donovan yeah. and the guys from Motor Art are here to see you. Oh. Hey. <laughs> we finally made it. it. <laughs> finally made it. Hi, how you good doing? See good to see you. Hi, Tim. Yeah, this, is is not Roswell. this is not Roswell. <laughs> 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 Hi, guys. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. We're hot and tired, but we're so. here. We're here. <laughs> and we brought you something okay. very special. So Don't you lead. All right. Age before view. <laughs> You have a good trip? Where's the, where's the beauty part of that? That's good. We, uh, the flight wasn't bad. It's, uh, you know, just oh stops in Phoenix oh, and... Well, this is it, guys. Uh, Boy. Uh-oh. Uh I think it's, uh, I think it's picking up a hole. Uh, mm. what do y'all think? Wow, this is, uh, it's... That's big enough here. <laughs> This is a big piece. It is yeah, it's going to fill the space. What, what is this room again? 19. 19. 19 feet. My question is, how are we going to get it in here? Well, I don't know. That's, that, that's the question. Do you think we can get it in the door? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. You and I talked. I said the the base of the rudder would be to this side, uh, with the top of the rudder to this side, and the and the trailing edge being here. We got it wrong. It's been an extremely long day today. You know, we got up at four, and uh, everybody's exhausted. And this is just the culmination of you know two hard weeks of work to get this done on Tom's schedule. And there's just no way that conference table is going to fit in that room. Yeah, it come in this direction yeah. and then possibly, you know, try to get it through that opening. Is it too wide to do that? This is a big, big piece. It's a big piece. Where are we guys? Let's just, let's just quit. Let's just, I got some guys working here. Let's just get a saw and cut, cut a hole in the wall. It's going to be interesting. Okay, let's just take it right over here. Here, watch your step. Let's go slow. Let's go slow. Let's slow, slow. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Pretty color, huh? Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Watch your feet. Okay. I think uh, Kathy was a little nervous uh, about how this thing was going to look from the color standpoint before she got the sneak preview. and. And once she saw it come out of the truck, I could tell by the look on her face that she was very pleased with, with the work that had been done. All right, let's try this. You guys ready? Yeah. Mm. Okay, just keep your eye up top. Okay, Dave, why don't you get on this other side so we don't scratch the bottom? Yeah, pass it off to Dave. Now, I got that. This okay. Is Stay right there at the doorway, Dave, and make sure we don't scratch. Okay, hang on. Nice and easy. Everybody's okay. Hang on. Floor. Swing out, D. Is, is your end going there? The yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stand All right, we're in, dude. Look at that, Tim. Good job, buddy. Oh, I only did it for 12 years. The process of moving this glass is uh, its life-threatening. It's also uh, extremely expensive if there's any loss or damage on it. And I always choose to do it with obviously no jewelry on and no gloves because for me, when I'm, using, when I'm moving a piece of furniture and I have gloves on, I can't really feel it. On Ready? It. Dave, Dave, I'm telling down, you. Down, down, hold on. Okay, one more time. Go. Up. Here we go. Standard? Yeah. 
Okay. Two guys on each side. Okay. Yep. It's like a rudder. That's kind of funny. It looks like a rudder. It does look like a rudder. Okay. Watch that doorknob. I got this, dude. Don't I'm worry. I'm not going to be able to get on that side. I got you it. You got it. Okay. Okay, you guys first. Yeah. Tim's been good, and uh, you know he helped tremendously on this one. There's not a chip, a scratch, a mark on this piece, and it's gone halfway across the United States. So I'm very pleased with him at this moment. All right, look at that. Well, at least it wasn't on the second story. Yeah, yeah that could, come it up. could have been worse. You just kind of get up there and hold it out of place. Okay. So once we get these in, we'll pick it up. Ready? Yep, let's go. You okay, Dave? Go further with it. Now, when we lay this down, I'll wait till we get... Bravo. It's perfect. Good. I mean, it's perfect, perfect. Good. Not, like, kind of close. Right. I'm gonna do a lens or two. I've been waiting for this for two days. I have, too. They said they couldn't be bent. I'll get out of your way now. All right. <laughs> Dom, I just didn't think you were going to be able to do that, but I was so impressed. Uh, you, Dave. The heat process, the molding process. It is quite phenomenal, isn't it? I'm very impressed, Dom. Thanks. Burn all the hair off my hands. You see? Tell you what, let me plug that in. I actually think it looks nice. The only, only thing is you, you're not... Gonna plug it in? It's not the perfect way it is, because it, it wasn't there. You know, we didn't have it to work with. Well, have it and how, how perfect do you want that to fit, Dave? Well, you've got a little edge coming oh, out Oh, for Pete's sakes. Well, I'm just... Take a walk around the block, man. I'm just telling you, it's not perfect, dude. You're about well, perfection, I, aren't you? Yeah, well, I didn't have the wing to melt them to. Well... Is this satisfactory to, to leave with a client? Yes. If it's not perfect? I like it better than these. Do you see a light leak? No, but you, 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 you do understand what I'm saying. It's just not perfectly hugging the radius of the, of the leading edge here. No, you're right. You're right. You know, I was doing these by memory. No, and I know you were. It just, it, it, let, it, let, me, let me try this big one here. The court is yours. Just don't don't walk on any of them. Walk Thank on you. Uh oh, he's looking irritable. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Sometimes you should learn to keep your big mouth shut. I'll tell you what, guys. Huh. Before I change all these out, what's everybody think? Oh, we got to think now. Well. He didn't tell I want everybody's on opinion one. on this. I like him better. <coughs> Domin, I love giving you a hard time. I think it looks spectacular. I mean, I see your point, Dave, that there's just, they don't fit quite as flush, but. I like it. I don't see it because there's not a light leak there. No, with the LEDs, you're not throwing enough, enough light to yeah. get the light leak, so. Yeah. I say go for it. All right. I say all make right. them all red. We'll make a corporate guys. decision. I love the red. I like the red, too. Okay, yeah. good. As much as I like to keep Good you job, last minute uh, maneuvering there. Since I didn't have the piece to make sure everything pre-fit, I made a couple extra ones and I made my holes just a little bit bigger and I was very fortunate that they all just fit. By the hair of my chin chin chin. So that's a good look right there. The nuclear desk. Man, those reds. Crimson are... Tide. Keep them close, keep them close. Good, good. Okay. Here we go. All right. Okay. Right. There you go. Two, Two three. three. Ta da! Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my it's God. It's a little big. <laughs> that is this awesome. This is unbelievable. Oh Maybe we should keep Tim around for a little bit longer. <laughs>